Hi everyone, welcome to Gnan Cloud Garage. In this session, I'm going to talk about how to add new VLANs at the HPE Synergy frame via HPE OneView. Uh, first of all, let's quickly recap what is HPE Synergy frame. As we know, HPE Synergy frame is, looks like this, and we can also call it as it is a composable infrastructure, and it's uh, it's like a better blade server, and it consists of multiple blades, or we call it as multiple compute nodes. Not only compute node, we can also have a storage storage also additional storage also we can include within the hpe synergy frame suppose in future if the customer have one synergy frame if the workloads are keep on growing they may plan to include a additional synergy frames frame one frame two frame three and so on and if the frames are increasing we can also increase our rack space let's say in this diagram if you see we have a five racks and uh, consists of multiple hpe synergy frame and few are dedicated for your storage nodes and few are dedicated for compute nodes and few are mixed with storage and compute nodes so based on the requirements we can use so whenever our workloads are keep on growing we can also need to add some additional virtual lands so for virtual land addition if you want to add it on sync individual synergy frame it will take longer time so for easy management to manage multiple hpe synergy frame there is a management tool called hpe one view so using hpe one view we can manage multiple synergy frame and also if you want to add a new vlans that vlans we can add it using hpe one view tool and before we are adding the vlan one prerequisite is first we need to coordinate with our network team and make sure that our specific network VLANs are configured on a physical network switch layer. Once the VLANs are configured, those newly configured VLANs, we can also update it in our HPE Synergy frame using HPE OneView. Okay. So before we start this con uh, concept, let me quickly log into our lab system and I will show you how we can configure the new VLANs. Okay, so, so to log into the HP OneView, open the HP OneView console and log into the OneView. Once we log into the HP OneView, we can see currently within the one view we have a dashboard the dashboard clearly says we have server profile 12 and we also have server hardware nine hardware is running and the enclosure we have currently only one synergy frame is configured on this one view okay maybe in future if you want to increase the multiple enclosures using this tool we can add multiple enclosures as well okay so but uh, our today's concept is how to add a new vlans so to add the new vlans how we can do is go to the one view and under networking section because vlan means it is a networking concept we need to add a multiple one so the first option is under networking go to the networks we have to configure a new network okay see within this network there are already existing vlans let's say if you see the vlan numbers vlan 3003 3004 5 are available if you want to configure a new vlan just click on create network when you click on create network you can make the one name for the specific new vlan let's say vlan name is vlan 3006 okay and the specific vlan type should be ethernet normally for the storages we can use the different protocol fiber channel fcoe and so on okay when you select the ethernet and vlan is tagged and we have to enter the vlan number let's say currently our new vlan number is 3006 so let's type the same new vlan id number and the remaining options you can just leave it as default okay and preferred bandwidth 2.5 gbps maximum bandwidth 50 gbps and leave the default options now click on create when you click on create you can see the vlan 306 is created complete so creation is completed when you see under general section the two cre uh, important options are uplink set is none and used by member office no network sets so this one we are going to configure now so if you want to configure a uplink set 
what is the recommended option is first we have to go to the again the networking tab under networking we have to choose logical interconnect okay so before uh, going to the logical interconnect the first step whatever we did let me show you from the slide as well see the first point to configure vlan under networking create network just now we created the network for new vlan vlan 3006 so the first step is completed now we are going to the second step that step we have to perform under the logical interconnect group in short form lig so whatever we added the new vlan 3006 add the newly created vlan to an uplink within this LIG, logical interconnect group. So the importance of this step is, this step connects the VLAN to the physical network, okay? So second step we are going to perform now. So select the logical interconnect group. Under logical interconnect group, there is a internal network, Red Hat network and different network. So our main production network is configured under the Red Hat Net. So currently there are six networks if you want to modify this network and we are going to connect these networks to the our uplink ports. So to connect our uplink ports just we can click on edit. So when you click on edit you can see there is a pencil so edit button for the Red Hat. So click on edit. So there are already existing VLANs 3003 30045 and just now we created a new vlan and select the add button add networks option so choose our new network click on add okay so currently vlan 306 is added now click on okay so when you click on okay our networks previously six networks now the networks are connected to seven networks all these seven networks are connected to the uplink ports okay so now click on okay this is our second step and back to the slide see the second option also we completed now the third step is logical enclosures so within our logical enclosures we have to update from group we have to run the update from group option so this step applies the changes made in the logical interconnect group to the specific enclosure and when you click on update from group usually it will take approximately three to ten minutes time okay so we'll quickly log in and do the logical enclosures update so logical enclosures we can find from even when you see from dashboard we can see enclosure is only one and within that enclosure we can see server section we can see logical enclosures so go to the logical enclosures currently there is a red hat eg under this enclosure group you can see there is a warning message the logical enclosure is inconsistent with its enclosure group so when you expand here there is an option from update from group so we have to click this option so that it the update will start and this update it clearly says resources may be affected by this action is one enclosure we have one enclosure within the, our own view and one logical interconnect yes we have added only one vlan and nine server profile nine server hardware and four interconnects all this will be going to update okay so yes select the yes update and i have read and understood all the implication so just proceed with the yes update so this update will take approximately three to 10 minutes. If you have multiple synergy frames, it may take longer time. So currently we have only one synergy frame. So most probably it may take around three to five minutes time. See update from group. If you select here, you can see the description here. Click on details. The currently update is in progress. So validating the all the interlink topology and interconnect module state so update may take a while let me duplicate this session and we can monitor and let me show you the another point if you go here under networking tab the newly configured network and select the vlan 3006 see uplink set is going to update this group only we are updating 
okay and finally we have to update used by member of this network set we have to update that is our fourth step once this update is completed and then we can go for a network set update the same point i highlighted in our slide let's go back to the slide in the meantime see the logical enclosure choose update from group this step only in progress currently it is updating is in progress during this time there will be no impact to the production and there will be even the production servers are up and running there will be no impact okay and the fourth step as i mentioned it is a network sets so network set select the network sets we created in the step one whatever the step one we created the new vlan vlan 3006 and add them to the network set so how we can add is again go back to the server and go to the one view under one view networking tab you can see the network sets so when you select the network set under network set choose the synergy set within the synergy set we have a, the same previously configured vlans 3002 3003 and 4 and 5 now the new one is 3006 but this one we can add only once this update is completed okay still the update is running so now it took around 2 minutes 34 seconds So we have to monitor the screen and wait for a one or two minutes. It will complete. Even here it says uplink set is changed. See, now if you see the update from group option is completed and it took approximately 3 minutes 47 seconds. Okay. Once the update is completed, I already opened a duplicate tab here, network sets. Under network set, select the specific network synergy set. This is our network set. We already have existing VLANs. You can just click on edit and add the newly configured VLAN 3006. So click on add. VLAN is added click on OK. Okay, see VLAN 306 is added to our network set. See the network set update also completed. So that is our fourth step. So using these four steps, we can add our new VLANs to HPE Synergy Frame through HPE OneView. So once we have completed these four steps, the new VLANs will be available and configured on the HPE Synergy Frame through HPE one view hope you understand how we can create new vlan and the second step how we can newly created vlan to the logical interconnect group and the third step is updating the logical enclosure group and finally we can update our network set so similarly if you want to add your multiple networks also same procedure so whatever we did just now go to the networks tab and create a network suppose if you want to create another vlan let's say vlan 300 7. So you can type 3007 and type is Ethernet and VLAN is tagged and VLAN number the same VLAN that these settings are just go with the default option click on create. So network is created but once the network created there is no uplink set there is no network sets. So to configure this one we have to do the two three four steps okay and suppose if you want to add another VLAN also same procedure VLAN 3008 and type Ethernet and you can enter the VLAN ID. So click on create. So just now we configured here two VLANs 3007 and 3008. And these two VLANs 
go to the logical interconnect group within the logical interconnect group currently we have only seven networks once we update it it will change to nine networks okay so click on this pencil button to edit and here just add the network and choose 3007 add and same way and last but not the least vlan 3008 so two vlans are added click on okay so now the networks count is nine networks connected to our uplink ports so networks are updated and the third step is go to the logical enclosure under logical enclosure if you see there is a warning message again and we have to update the logical group see the nine server profile nine server hardware all the new connections will be updated so we are good to proceed with the yes update so update may take again same like previous it will take around three minutes time earlier it took three minutes 47 seconds once the update is completed we have to go to the network sites under network sites we can add the vlan information see previously we updated vlan 3006 same way click on edit and we can add 307 and 3008 okay hope you understand the procedure the update may take a while so with interest of our time but the procedure and all we got the four steps and we also know now we have an idea how we can add the new vlans at synergy frame using hpe one view okay so that's it thank you if you are watching this video first time, please do view, like, share and subscribe to the Gnan Cloud Garage channel. If you are already subscribed, I appreciate all your support. Bye for now.